Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Sarah. It's day four of Vlogmas and today I'm coming at you with a very special pin mail. So I will probably do this in two parts because there are a lot of pins. I ordered a lot of pins over this time. Uh, I I just like to say all of these are open um, because I don't live in the US. I um, use a very special service called um, My US. I'm going to come over here. Uh, I use a very special service called My US. I order stuff in the US. I get it sent to their shipping company and they uh, repackage and send it on to us. We get it sent out once a month. So this will definitely only be happening once a month unless I get stuff from the shops, which isn't highly likely because we just don't have that much of a pin culture in Australia. So without further ado, I know October is over, but this is all my pin mail from the haunted, uh, sorry, the um, not so scary and the uh, Mickey's Halloween party. Um, and especially from Nightmare Before Christmas's 25th anniversary. I'm very, very happy about this because uh, that is my main collection. I've, I'm learning the lingo. Um, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I've lo loved Nightmare Before Christmas for many, 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 many years. Probably all 25. <laughs> um, aging myself a little. And... This is just a fantastic year for collecting. So my first one was the one that came out on um, the 31st of October for Halloween. And so that's a limited edition and it is a, a hinge pin. And hopefully that will focus. Um, and we've got Lock, Shock and Barrel wearing the masks of Sally, Jack and Oogie and we bring it down and there they are and it glows in the dark. Oh, I used to collect glow in the dark things when I was a kid because I lived on a farm and we had no lighting um, outside at night. Um, we had flood lighting and that sort of thing, but we basically just didn't run the lighting So I learned to walk around in the dark, but I had a collection of glow-in-the-dark things like Casper um, So having a glow-in-the-dark pin is amazing uh, This one is one pin back And is limited To 4,000 so that is the back of the pin. And that is the front. It's probably focusing on my fingers. So that is amazing. Next, I have the 25 Years of Fright Limited Edition annual pass holder hinge pin Whew, all the words and again I think this one is limited to 4,000 and on the front we have Jack in uh, Christmas Town and on the inside and I love this and I know lots of people have shown it already but this is just awesome and it's not because of the vampires, it's because of the wooden duck. How awesome is that? It's just amazing. And I absolutely love it. It's a double pin back. And we'll check the limit. Because I like when people show the backs of pins. So I'm gonna try and show the backs of pins. If I can't show them, if they don't come up nice and focused, I'm going to do a close-up of them 
So that is limited to 4,000 and it's got pass holder pin thing on the back. It's got, the back is full. It's got the pin trading one. It's got the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas one. It's got the pass holder Mickey head. It's got the 25 years of fright. It's got the limited edition. It's got the FAC and the made in China copyright Disney. The whole back is full. It's fantastic. Next. This I ordered, all of these I ordered off eBay. It's the easiest way to get stuff um, to me. Um, and this one, they very kindly put in a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party map, which is awesome. I've got the map from last year for um, not the Not So Scary Party, the, the, the Halloween party that happens at Disney land because I actually went to that. This is why I know all of these things exist uh, and it's amazing. So this one, because my main collection is Nightmare Before Christmas but I also collect various villains. Uh, this is the Trick or Treat Limited Edition Hinge Pin. Love hinge pins. Um, that came out this year. Again, this is limited to 4,000, but I'll show you the back. It is Ursula's Grotto. And we've got either Flotsam or Jetsam on the outside. I'm pretty sure that's what the eels are called. It's a long time since I've watched A Little Mermaid. And on the inside, is Ursula in all her glory with her shell necklace um, that she traps Ariel's voice in and either Flotsam or Jetsam on the top saying trick or treat 2018. Oh, and I've just noticed little bubbles on the little bubbles are glittery. They're so cool. And thankfully, this is one of those ones that's got a magnet in it. I've got some of the um, ones from last year from Disneyland, um, hinge pins, and uh, one of the ones with zero on it, and it flops open all the time when I wear them. I wear my pins every day. Um, if you want to see some of my pins, I Instagram my pins each day that I wear them on my Instagram, which I will put a link up below. It's the same as my YouTube name. So it's a double pin on the back. This is number one, three or four. This is the only one in this collection that I wanted. Um, I think for now, <laughs> we'll have a look later. Uh, yeah, one of, uh, sorry, a limited edition of 4,000. And isn't it beautiful? Last two for this video, but we get a bit of a double up. So, again with the 25 years of fright, I've got, I've still got two of these to get. I think it's just two. I don't collect the jumbo pins um, because I primarily collect pins to wear them. Uh, I don't quite see the value in the jumbo pins as yet, but that might change. So in the 25 years of fright video, so um, limited edition pins, we've got lock shock, and it's shock people, shock, not stock. I keep hearing people who like don't, they're not into the Nightmare Before Christmas thing, and they keep saying stock, it's lock shock and barrel. So we have lock shock and barrel and we have the mare and the mare's head changes from his happy to his sad face, which I love the, uh, the two-faced joke pun that is done with um, the political figure in this, um, which is something that didn't strike me obviously as a kid, but it gets me now. So that is the pin there. Again, this is limited. It's a single pin back on this one. We'll show you with his happy face. And the back of the pin 
Again, 4,000. Back of the pin has all of the relevant details. So, love that. I love the mare. I love when he's freaking out, mainly. Last ones. Now, these ones, this is a four pin set, um, and they are open edition from what I can tell. Um, I think they're called the Flare Packs. I really didn't realize how small the card was. Um, I kind of thought it was this big and they were decent sized pins. They're still decent sized pins, but I opened it up and went, huh. Um, and I, I don't think I've seen many people actually opening these. Um, there's a couple more of these ones that I want, um, but I have to bear in mind now <laughs> the actual size of them. So this is the uh, Disney Parks um, pins for Nightmare Before Christmas. I think these are just rack pins, I think. Um, but I really like this for Lock, Shock and Barrel in the bathtub that they kidnap um, Sandy Claws in. Um, it's fantastic. And this is the closest one I have to a really good pin of barrel of zero um, and I really like I actually really like Sally's face in this one and I really like Oogie Boogie that he has his dice I just love these pins so uh, there we go I'm not gonna take those ones off um, but I'm glad I now know how big they are so I'm going to leave that there. Um, I have more pins. I will do another pin mail part two. Um, but I just realized, because I'm now filming in the morning, I've got to get to work. So um, if you liked any of these, want to contact me in any way, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm really quite interested in getting into this community of the um, Disney pin ones, but I live so far away that it's just a little bit difficult. Um, so please reach out and contact me if that's um, an option for you. Uh, thank you very much and happy pin collecting. Bye!